Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one-take property tours. Today's tour is a second-floor apartment, which has been done in a wabi-sabi style. We are today in Arezzo, in Tuscany, and this Italian property for sale is going to get you emotional. <laughs> Certainly your comments. This building was built in 1896, and in 1945, it was, or this area, was completely destroyed by artillery bombing by the British. Sorry. I think this apartment is absolutely gorgeous. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is a little bit of the view going down and you can see a mixture of old 18th and 19th century buildings with 1960s and 1970s five, six, I mean, obviously they're not skyscrapers, but they are of a high-rise construction. Well, the Italian high-rise construction. I mean, it's not Giaponte in Milan, but, you know, it is Arezzo. Right, let's get inside and get up. We've got to walk up the stairs, and immediately as you come in, you might be saying to yourself, well, Nick, that's not finished. <laughs> and that is the entire point. It is not finished. It is left in its original condition. Beautiful staircase. Look at the balustrade. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we've got one of those. Oh, oh look at the light. Oh, it's just, you know, and I've got no lights on at all. It has a light well at the top of the stairs and there are four apartments in this building in total. <laughs> right, come on, let's get up. Let's get up to the top of the stairs. As we get up, the light will change because basically the light well um, and the skylight is above. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull back. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, right. Like the plants outside the door. Okay. Here we go. Now, your front door. <laughs> it has fur. Yep. And when I open the door, we are going to enter this really interesting space. Now, the idea here is to leave the walls in a distressed mode and just basically fix them with a fixative. Oh. <laughs> I just love just these, these elements. I will give you the return, but you walk in along the hallway and then you enter into a open L-shaped reception room. Now, admittedly, this is not for everyone, but for those of you who know, this might be a dream come true. Now, some of you will be saying, well, Nick, it's not finished. Well, what is your definition of 
a finished project because I will say to you, to actually get it to look like this is a lot of hard work. If I lift up, you can see that they've painted the terracotta tiles and the ceilings in a matte black finish. Now, this is owned, would you believe, by a Italian architect. And uh, I hate to say it, but it's stylish. That's exactly what it is. It's stylish. I think it's wonderful. Now they've left the original windows, um, but they have taken them out and they've taken them to the glass shop and they've had them double glazed. This apartment has air conditioning everywhere. It's had a concrete screed black flooring. Just gonna come down and show you that now. And that is a matte finish as well. Now we're gonna pull up and go into one of the first bedrooms. And throughout the house, as I've mentioned, the walls have been, <sighs> not hat, um, let's say scraped back to form this wonderful patina of centuries of paint. And then it's been sealed and left. Now, I'm not quite sure whether the clever architect decided to install these radiators or these radiators were here and they've just had a treatment on, but they are rusty. And anybody who has watched my videos will know I love rust. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer to this window so you can see outside. We are literally a stone's throw away from the main square. Yeah, as I said, original shutters, those look like they've been painted, but they're beautiful. Again, the wall on the back here looks like it's had some new plaster and they've left three of the walls and then they've painted or skimmed in plaster one wall and then the ceiling in black. <laughs> if you were going to live here full time, basically you would probably find yourself a very nice wardrobe and put it there. But as this apartment has been or is rented out, they have used this ingenious idea of having your clothes just hung on pegs. I like it. Stepping back out into the hallway. This apartment is over two floors. It's a maisonette. And then there's a, another staircase which leads out to a roof terrace of approximately 20 square meters. Bedroom number two. Yeah. I know, I know, you, you, you either love it or you hate it, and I, I really, I, I, I love it, I love it. You know, in a way, you, do you want to be brave? Yes, yes, life, life's about being brave. Oh, I just think, look at the walls. Oh, they're just amazing, absolutely amazing. It's been done really well. 
Again, a similar style. If you wanted to live here on a full-time basis, I would probably look at changing that and finding myself a nice antique wardrobe. You think it's all falling down, but it's had a new electrical system and new plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we've seen the open L-shape living area and the two bedrooms, and now we're entering into the kitchen space. Italian designed kitchen, really lovely, very expensive. And that's what I like about it. You know, we are dealing with a property which has been designed like this. Just gonna come across to the other side. Actually, gonna step into this corner. Oh, I just fell over. Super expensive extractor fan. Very nice five burner hob and a heating grill. Just coming over to the uh, other side and I'm going to turn around and give you the return to show you in the corner there is a black dishwasher and a combo oven and microwave. Now you see these little sockets which are here. This would have been the very old electrical system. Now this building can be potentially purchased or this apartment I should say can be potentially purchased with all the furniture, there has to be some negotiation, but I have been told that there is a potential everything could go. I love the long chandeliers. I think that's a really nice idea. Okay, so we're coming down the hallway right to the end, and you might have said to me, well, Nick, where's the refrigerator? <laughs> Good question. And here it is. And you've got a fridge and below there is a freezer. Now you can <laughs> get to the fridge by coming through another door. And as I pull around, you will see, well, it's an opening, not a door. Now, there are two bathrooms in this apartment. There's one at this level, and uh, it's quite fun because the owner has had an artist to make figurative pencil drawings, and they've been very nicely done on the plasterwork. Now, there are a couple, a couple of them which are a bit risque, so um, I am not going to go there. So you have a toilet with the seat down, a bidet, a nice shower, and a bottom, <laughs> and, and a padded door, and a padded door, and wonderful handles, and air conditioning and a nice resin sink on a wonderful piece of reclaimed wood. Yeah, I really. Oh, I haven't closed the front door, but I didn't turn these lights on because there are a lot of bulbs and it is a very gray day and it was just, just too much light for my camera. Do you want to go upstairs? Yeah, of course you do. I do. I do. 
Yeah, really. Okay, so you have a wood and steel staircase. Actually, I'm going to show you one of the lights are on. It's darker upstairs. They're made with copper. And they're a lot of fun, aren't they? Yeah, I like them. Oh, you have to be careful up here, Nick. Okay, so coming round, you have another tread. And then we come up into a open space. This is the attic area. And they have put a double bed. Although that I'm being told that this is not technically a bedroom. But if you wanted to rent it out, I mean, what fun is that? It really is just a lot of fun. I really like those lamps. They're made with old engine parts. They're great. And then you enter into the second bathroom. Now, the ceiling height here is quite low. So uh, it's high enough. If you're six foot five, you know, or taller, it might be a problem. Oop, I like the mushroom. I am just going to put the seat down. Oh, soft clothes. Perfect. Nice shower again. And I didn't really show you the other one before, but there is a matching sink. And I think it's in resin, actually. I like bathrooms with lots of mirrors. I really do. I'm just going to change hands with the gimbal and give that a little tap. No, that is stone. Interesting. And then we come down and we turn right. And oh, you can see that that light is jolly bright. Wonderful piece of Scandinavian 60s furniture. I want it. I really, I really do. And this is a snug. The boiler is upstairs. There is a fireplace. I'm not quite sure if that's working. And there is a really nice sofa. Oh, it's a great space. Just gonna pull back. Oh, yeah, and then there's a head of a dead boar. Right, a few more stairs. You can see how the way that the plaster work has been done. They've just left it rough. And then you turn here, and then you've got a little door leading out. The camera will adjust. Oh. And we go out onto this really great outside space. Just going to come across and uh, give you a view of the surrounding area. Just at the top there, you might be able to see the church um, and then the tower at the top. And then here you've got a selection of old and new buildings. And then the mountains behind. I come back. It's had a roof put on this with, is that glass? No, it's Perspex. Yeah, it's private. You can have a wonderful barbecue up here with your friends. Now, outside space. Oh, loving it, I'm loving it. I, I just, I love the fact that basically that they put 
I don't know this is afterthought, but is that chandelier meant to be like that? I have no idea. I really don't. But I think it's quite fun. Right, let's get downstairs and I'm going to give you uh, all the information. <laughs> It's wonderful, isn't it? I, hope you, I really hope you enjoyed this tour. Right, what have we got? As I said, the building was constructed in 1896. There were four apartments in this building. Unfortunately, in 1945, a large chunk of this area was destroyed with an artillery, artillery bombardment. Um, and that's what wars do, they destroy beauty. I don't want to say any more than that. Second floor, walk up, outside space, two bedrooms, occasional bedroom upstairs, air conditioning, new electrics, new, sis, new heating system. The boiler is upstairs as well. You are literally a stone's throw away, two or three minutes walk to Arezzo train station, where you can take a train and also the Freccia Rossa, the high-speed Italian train, which is amazing, to anywhere in Italy. Anywhere. I love Italian trains. Two bathrooms, this one and the one upstairs. And basically, there is a possibility that you can acquire or negotiate all the furniture if that's your cup of tea. I say it, I'm going to say this again. And the architect has been one, very brave, and two, he's very talented because I would tell you right now, to make it look like this is a huge amount of work. It really is. There's a lot of work that's going on here. And the price. The, the price of this property on the market today is €480,000. Did you get it right? I hope so. My name is Nick Fran and these are my Italian one-take property tours. I say this every week and I mean it for everybody who has subscribed to this channel from the heart. Thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and just push, push those buttons, push, and that would help me so I can help you. Until the next tour, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Ciao.